Hi and welcome to this week's review. And this week we're doing a Jack Jekyll sauce. It's a, a range of sauces. They're based in Philadelphia. And this week we are doing their um, Detroit style Coney sauce. So we're looking forward to this. So you've seen by the opening credits, um, it's a uh, Detroit styled uh, Coney sauce. And they're sort of a ketchup based, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, designed for your burgers, everything, all sorts of things. Not spicy, um, the ingredients are, are pretty uh, basic and simple. Um, put the ingredients up, but you know, tomato paste, pickled uh, jalapenos, yellow mustard, brown mustard, water, onion, sea salt, cayenne, chili powder, Worcestershire, um, I presume that's Worcestershire sauce, uh, vinegar, and the uh, Jack Jekyll seasoning blend. So it's a, obviously a blend of their own, their own specific blend. Um, it's their range of bottles are really interesting. You've seen by the picture, we put the picture up. Um, lovely uh, looking uh, labels and things like that. And um, you can get these sauces. Now, they're, they're pretty widespread, actually. Um, we got this one at Hotheads, um, which is obviously in the UK. However, over in the States, you can, uh, you've got Pepper Palace. Um, they're a big chain all around the US. Um, but just check out their website. You find out where you can find it, but you know one of the easiest places is just Google it, and you'll find it. Um, it's not a place. Go to their website. Um, looking forward to this one. Yeah, me. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, as they suggest, it's going to be a ketchup styled. Um, you know, giving a good old shake. So, an old spoon. So it's not tomato in colour. It's it's very brown. You better see it. Oh, look at that. Stay on tiger. You can smell the, uh, the tomato. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you don't get many of the other ingredients, so many other ingredients coming through. No, you get, I mean, you've got the straight away is the overriding uh, tomato uh, smell. You get a little hint, you get a nice little hint of spice though, um, the herbs, and you know, you've got. Oh, you can't, I wouldn't it's, say you can smell the jalapeno. But. Do you know it's, it's, it's almost a quite slight uh, smoky smell to it? Mm. Yeah. Right, I'm looking forward to this. So it's not going to be hot, um, and it doesn't want to be hot. It's, it's not. It's not even. They don't even class as a hot sauce. No. It's, a, it's a condiment. That's what it is. All right. So uh, three, two, one, out down the edge. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. There is actually a tiny bit of heat, heat, <laughs> heat to it. Um, but there's nothing which is. Uh, Overpowering, but it's um, that's a puppy by the way, which is running mad anyway. But I do, do you know what? It's got a really, it's not, no, no, it's nice heat. I would imagine it's, it's a, a, a mustard heat rather than an actual, yeah, yeah. You got um, you got a couple of mustards in there, haven't you? So, um, but then you got that little bit of kick from the jalapeno as well, but very, very mild. Um, it's Oh, I could absolutely smother that all over me. So, no, you can't have any, all right? Okay, that's a chilli dog, he can't have any, so it's as simple as that. Um, really, really nice. I mean, that's just that's just for your hot dogs and your burgers, your barbecues. Um, as it is, it's a condiment. Um, it, chicken. Oh, God, I go on loads of stuff. Um, so that mustard has really got a good, yeah, good, real, real good flavor. Yeah, and it works well with the tomato as well, doesn't it? Because yeah. you got the tomato, you got the freshness of the tomato. Um, so you that sort of fruity flavor of the, the tomato and everything like that. Um, but the mustard is definitely the one of the uplifting uh, flavors in there, definitely. And then they've got their blend of, uh, of herbs. So you, you put your cumin, black pepper. Even though you could smell the uh, the tomatoes. When you first smell it, you don't get a huge tomato flavour going through. No. So obviously it has been blended with the other the spice blend they use, plus the mustard and everything else to create a real good balance with the flavour. I mean, you just had another teaspoon. Yeah. Or tablespoon. All right. So yeah, we've had four tablespoons already, so uh, it gets our gets our thumbs up. But um, to round it off, guys, that's um, whether in the states, Europe, whatever, um, it is available. You can get it via Hotheads or uh, obviously off. Um, Jack Jackal themselves or Pepper Palace. This 
going to be an easy source. And we've got a few more of their sources. Uh, well, hopefully we're going to get a few more of their sources, buy, buy the sources and do some more reviews. Because um, they're very, very interesting. I really do like that. So, guys, um, to round up, it's um, heat-wise, 2. 2 out of 10. Um, great source, guys. Really enjoyed that. Um, definitely buy it again. Yeah, definitely. All right. Thanks, uh, and see you later. Cheers. Bye.